Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this particular session, I'll talk about a very interesting topic, which you will not have heard a lot in in your previous, you know, uh, studies. There is something called as ternary search. We usually have the knowledge of linear search. We usually have the knowledge of binary search as well, as these are quite famous searching algorithms. But there is something which is very interesting named as ternary search and this can be asked from you in an interview as uh, one of my friend uh, she told me that in an interview she uh, uh, she got this kind of question where an interviewer asked her that what is the difference between the binary search and the, and the ternary search and which one is much better and why so these kind of questions you can answer only when you are already aware about these concepts right so when we talk about ternary search as the name suggests that the prerequisite first of all to understand this concept is that you should have the understanding of that binary search so the, what is the prerequisite the prerequisite is to have the understanding of binary search so here now when we talk about binary search, we all know that it's a very interesting application of divide and conquer. Am I saying it correct? It's a very interesting application of divide and conquer, where the very first step is to divide the array into two halves. What is the, what is the uh, preliminary condition to apply any kind of binary search or in the way ternary search as well? The preliminary condition is that our array should be in a sorted fashion our array should be in a sorted fashion array must be i can write in a sorted fashion now that is the important uh, condition why is that so because we know that if the array is sorted then only my code will be able to get an idea that whether it should go towards the right side of the array or the left side of the array, meaning whether it should go towards the right side of that mid value or the left side of the mid value, depending on what is the key that we are looking for, right? What is the key that user, user is looking for? That is the overall idea behind the binary search that we know. In ternary search, now in binary search, we, we all know that we have two pathways. We have two pathways, right? What are those two pathways? One pathway is either uh, going towards, you know, uh, one pathway is either going towards left side of the mid value or another pathway is to go towards the right side of the mid value. That are the two different pathways that we have depending upon the, uh, uh, the key that we are looking for. For example, for example, I am having an array which contains 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 and suppose the key which I am looking for is suppose 4. Now what will happen? What is the array index? What is the array index? It is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now here if you will see if suppose I want to find out uh, if you want if, if I want to apply that binary search what will happen is that first of all we have to find out the middle value right and the middle value is something which is equals to what is the right left index zero what is the right index four so it will be four plus so it will be left index plus the right index minus left index which is four minus zero right divided by two so it is something which is coming out to be two now there is one important thing which you have to understand here there are two ways to calculate the middle value. One is directly doing the left index plus right index uh, divided by 2. Left index plus uh, right index divided by 2. This is one of the way where people, people have used a lot this kind of methodology. And then there is another way by which I showed you in the above part, which is that you can calculate the value of the mid by saying left plus you know right minus the value of the left index divided by 2 which one is better which one is better so
so there are two ways to calculate the middle value my question is which which one is the better approach to calculate the mid value in a binary search give me the answer in the comment section i'll 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 check each and every response and the important reason why and why is that so suppose someone is saying first one is the good approach as comparable to second or someone is saying second one is the good approach as comparable to first then you should state me the reason as well that why you are saying that first one is better or second one is better so that i will be able to get an idea that what is your thought process regarding this particular approach okay now <clears throat> we calculated this mid value by second approach and we got the value of the mid as 2 what is the value of the r of 2 it is 6 what i am looking for 4 i am looking for the key as 4 now i know that the array is in a sorted fashion first thing right and i am looking for the element which is lesser than the value present at the r of mid i am looking for an element which is 4 which is lesser than the value present at r of mid so at whether i should go towards the right side of my mid value or i should go towards the left side of the of my mid value to get the value obviously because the value which i am looking for is lesser than the value of the r of mid then i am pretty sure that the value which i am looking for will be present at the left side it means that at that point of time we will upgrade the value of the right which is equals to the value of the mid minus 1 why because if the value of the key that i am looking for is less than or you can say equal to as well but as of now let's talk about less than equal to less than r of mid that is what is happening in this particular case so that's the reason i am upgrading my right index as mid minus 1 right otherwise if suppose vice versa will happen if the value of the key is greater than the value of the r of mid at that point of time i was very sure that suppose i am looking for a key as 8 so that is the case where the value of the key that i am looking for is greater than the value of the uh, r of mid so at that point of time i am sure that the value present at the right side of my r of mid it means at that point of time i will upgrade the value of the left index as mid plus 1 mid plus 1 and then i'll continue doing the same thing to explore it on the uh, right side of the array so it means that when we are applying a binary search we are dividing our array into two halves and then we are conquering it either by either going towards left side or the right side depending upon what key we are looking for but when we are talking about ternary search so what is happening here is that we are instead of dividing into dividing the array into two halves so here we divide our array into two halves this is the one half right uh, which is lesser than 6 and this is another half which is greater than 6 instead of doing this as the name suggests ternary search so here what we are doing is that we are dividing the array into three half we are dividing the array into three halves where the value of the mid one is something which is equals to what is the left index plus what is the right minus the left divided by 3 because we have to divide our array into three halves and the mid two is something which is equals to what is the right index minus what is the value of the right minus the value of the left divided by 3 so in this way we will be able to generate what is the value of the mid one what is the value of the mid two and now the considering the same kind of array which we have for example this array that we we are having here so what we can do is that now if you will see our left index is something which is equals to 0 our right index is something which is equals to 4 now what is the value of the mid one what is the value of the mid one it is nothing but is equals to 0 plus what is the value of the right 4 minus 0 divided by 3 so it is something which is coming out to be 1 right now what is the value of the mid two mid two is something which is equals to 4 minus 4 minus what is the value of uh 4 minus 0 divided by 3 again it is equals to 1 4 minus 1 is equals to 3 it means that we are now getting the value of mid 1 the value of mid 2 right and now 
this is what we know that this is left value this is the left index this is something which i am saying is the mid one and this is something which i am saying is the mid two now we have divided our array into three halves one is starting from the range of from 0 to mid 1 0 index to mid 1 then another second portion of our array is from mid 1 to mid 2 and the third portion of our array is from mid 2 to the ending index which is equals to 4 in this particular case right or in other words you can say left index mid 1 mid 1 mid 2 mid 2 and the right index so this is the first half of your array this is the first half of your array then this is the second half of your array right and this is the third half of your array this is the third half of your array so in this way in a ternary search instead of dividing our array into two halves what we try to do is that we try to divide our array into three halves mid one from left to mid one mid one to mid two and mid two to the right portion okay that is completely fine i hope everyone is able to understand now suppose again the value of the key is equals to six then what will happen it will simply check first of all if suppose you are looking for a key which is equal equal to the value of the air of mid one it might happen right it might happen that is the base case condition if that is happening then simply we can return the value of the mid one otherwise if suppose key is something which is equal equal to the value of the r of mid two it also might happen that is also a base case condition then we can return the value of the mid two because and anyhow we have to search the element right now if it might happen that the key that you are looking for is less than the value of the r of mid one if suppose that is the case if suppose that that is the case that the key that you are looking for for example uh, you are looking for two and your value of mid one is four r of mid one is four so it is less than that at that point of time what will you uh, what what particular parameter will you change what particular parameter we should change so obviously at that point of time what is the value of the right it so here if you will see now i know that the value is less than the mid one so in this particular case i have to completely see on only on this space can i say can i say that only this particular left to mid one is the only option which is left where i know that my data will be present so that is the only thing which uh, which i am aware of isn't it making sense everyone so here if you will try to see our search space will get reduced to only one parameter where we have to say that the value of the right is something which is equals to mid one minus one the value of the right is something which is equals to mid one minus one i hope i am making sense why because we are only until this space right now suppose another case third half case when it will happen when suppose the value of the when suppose the value of the key is somehow greater than the value of the r of mid two suppose you are getting a value suppose you are looking for a key which is suppose 10 now you will know that your search space is somehow looking for this particular thing at that point of time what you can do is that you can maybe increment your left value by saying mid two plus one by saying mid two plus one so that is the another parameter that you should see so you deal with this particular portion this is done now we already deal with this particular portion as well that if suppose the element will be the first half then obviously you have to update the parameter of right right if suppose your element is on the third half then you have to update the value value or the parameter of left if suppose the element lies exactly in between this these two mid one and mid two that is the second half right at that point of time you have to update the parameter of both left and right so in that particular case what will you do you will try to say that the value of the left is something which is equals to mid one plus one and the value of the right is something which is equals to mid two minus one that is the important thing that you have to understand 
so obviously at that point of time you will reach towards this particular six value and your model uh, will see again the base case condition and in the base case condition itself your condition will get true and it will return the value as two so this is how basically the concept of ternary search will work this is how basically the concept of ternary search will work i hope i'm making sense to everyone that what is the major difference between the concept that we already understood in a binary search and this advanced version of the concept named ternary search so basically here instead of dividing our array into two halves that we usually do in our uh, uh, binary search approach we are dividing our array into three halves the condition is same that we uh, ternary search will also work only when you are having a sorted array the way to calculate the value of the middle is also same but here instead of dividing by two we are dividing by three because we want three different unique portions now instead of looking for only whether my model uh, or the data will go towards the left side or the right side we have to develop a logic where either my data will go towards first half or the second half or the third half what is first half second half and third half that i already showed you and then you have to write the necessary conditions to go towards these three halves step by step just like the way i write here now this is a kind of a pseudo code which i have written right this is a kind of a logic which i have showed to you if you still have any sort of doubt in this logic first of all do let me know in the comment section i will i will see all the comments and will try to explain the concept if it's not clear after that once it is clear try to do the implementation for the same on your own if you know the implementation of binary search it's very easy for you to write the implementation for the ternary, ternary search given i have already mentioned the logic here so you just have to change that if else condition and then your code will be done so you can what you can do is that you can take similar array which is 2 4 6 8 10 you can also take the same key which is equals to 6 and you can just try to print the output where my model or, or my uh, my code will show that okay where the six element will be located so you, my final output will be given as two so that's what i'm expecting from your code so try to do the code what we, what i will do is that i'll come up with another session where i will try to do the implementation live and i'll try to show you the same thing the code is very simple first of all try to understand the logic i have seen so many people who are so uh, passionate about writing a code that they don't understand the logic and then after writing the code their, their output is not coming up fine so first of all try to spend complete time in, in understanding the logic part and then try to build the code okay i'm pretty sure that if you're already aware about how binary search code will work you will be definitely able to get an idea and <clears throat> the implementation of the ternary search do let me know who, who are the people who will be easily able to get the implementation of ternary search and if there is someone who is facing a challenge that also do let me know in the comment section then i'll try to see that uh, where should i do the improvement so that uh, the the students who are not able to get an idea that how we can write i'll try to help them out as well with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone do like share and subscribe to my video i'll come up i'll come up with other amazing contents also so uh, hit like bye bye everyone